Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Coding with Bam. So basically, uh, if you are a student uh, learning ethical hacking or some kind of beginner uh, or you have just enrolled some hacking classes, the first thing you should be curious about the information of, about all the people that are connected in your network that is uh, about finding their IP address and their corresponding MAC address. So today I am going to teach you how to get IP address and corresponding MAC address of all the people that are connected in your network. Now here I am uh, using Kali Linux uh, on my virtual box uh, for Python coding. You can use any kind of platform or you can use simply your Windows. You just need a Python framework so that you can run a Python code. Okay, so let me open my Kali Linux. Uh, here it is my uh, Kali Linux. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a short uh, Python code and you will see how it will help you to know the uh, IP address and MAC address of all the people that are connected in your network. Uh, let me make it more clear so that it will be visible for you. Open another tab for further work. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, write a Python code. So, leaf pad and let me write a file name, any name, for example, scan network.py. Okay. So here, here it is a leaf pad. Okay. First thing I'm going to import uh, Scapy package. Scapy is used uh, to modify all the network packages. Uh, so I'm going to import it. Import Scapy dot all as Scapy. Okay. Now the second thing uh, I will do, I will uh, make a definition or a function where I can. Uh, where I can send the ARP packet to all the to all the nodes in my network. Okay, I will explain later what I'm doing. Okay, sweet yeah, scan, and here I will pass the argument. Uh, actually, here I have to pass the range of IP address in which I am performing the scanning. Okay, so I can write here IP range. Okay, then colon. Then indentation is cappy dot air ping and same IP range. Now what what I what I did here in this function, I am making an ARP packet and I am broadcasting this ARP packet to uh, every nodes in the network. Now suppose if a node is active, uh, my packet will be received by that. Uh, node asking that uh, for this IP address what is the corresponding MAC address so ARP is basically for the same thing uh, address resolution protocol that will uh, uh, that will give you the corresponding MAC address for a particular IP address okay so this is my main task to get all the IP and MAC addresses okay uh, the third thing I have to do I have to call this scan function so scan and here I have to pass uh, the range in which I have to scan okay so to do this I must know the network in which I am working so how to know the so how to know the uh, network in which you are working the first thing you should know about your IP address uh, for that in a Kali Linux you have to go through uh, if uh, config for window user you can use if config IP config anything Okay, so here it is your IP address. Uh, sorry, here it is my IP address 192.168.1.102, and here it is my MAC address. Now I have to find what is my what is my uh, gateway actually. So for that, the command is route hyphen n. As you can see, this is my gateway 192.168.1.1. And if you if you want to know your ARP table for that, it is ARP. A. So here it is my ARP table. Okay, 
so the useful thing is that uh, my gateway is 192.168.1.1 and I have to scan for all the nodes that are present in this network okay so let me open my leaf pad again okay so here what I have to pass is 192.168.1.1 and uh, as you know that uh, from 0 to 255 it varies so I pass 1 to 254 as, because I want to scan all the nodes that are present in my network so from 1 to 254 I will scan every each and every one okay so uh, let me save this one uh, okay saved uh, now I will close this file I will go to terminal and uh, I will I will run this code okay so for uh, as you know if, if you are running a Python file uh, from the terminal what you have to write Python sorry Python file name dot py then scan network dot py and hit enter ah, okay so uh, finally I got the results as you can see finish sending 254 packets as we have specified in that there are totally 254 packets were sent and uh, since two nodes were active I got the uh, what we call this MAC address and the corresponding IP address MAC address and then IP address okay so uh, since I am uh, using the Kali Linux in my virtual box I got uh, one MAC address and IP address for, for the gateway and one for the one for my host operating system that is Windows operating system. So let us check whether it is right or wrong. So let me uh, go through my my host operating system and let me check. Uh, my system is working a little bit slow. Okay, as I said that uh, for Windows users, if you want to know the IP address and your MAC address, you have to write it config. Okay, so uh, let me check the IP address. Uh, okay, here you can see that my IP address is, uh, my host IP address is 192.168.1.101 and as you have seen in my Kali Linux, what I got is 192.168.1.101 and uh, okay can i compare my mac address also here okay 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 s98 yes, So uh, let me verify from a uh, different one. Uh, let me type here view network status and tasks. Okay, uh, I am connected to some geo file. Okay, uh, not details. Okay, as you can see the details here. Uh, the IPv4 address is 192.168.1.101, uh, which is similar to what we have got here 192.168.101 and corresponding mac address is corresponding mac address is uh, 98 92 98 22 ef 08 d3 which is in hexadecimal form okay so uh, now we are sh at least sure that we are getting the right responses okay so let me close this one this one too uh, okay Now what else we can do? We can just um, modify modify our code for better performance. Okay. So what we what we want to do? We don't want to uh, write the uh, IP range here. We want uh, our user to uh, give the input. So what we can do is uh, something we can write here. Uh, IP address. IP address. Uh, 
does it call so raw input and I will write here enter the range you want to scan okay and then some colon so some colon okay now uh, wh wh whatever thing we get here as IP address we will pass it to scan IP address okay now let's save it and try to run save it okay closing it now going to run it python scan effort.py hit enter now it is asking me to enter the range you want to scan so it is 192.168.1.1 and hyphen 254 as you can see again that we got the same answer so this is what I what I was telling you that uh, suppose if you are sitting in a lab or you are in open Wi-Fi network you can check this thing you can get the IP address and MAC address all the people that are connected in your network okay uh, for the demonstration I can also uh, start a window operating system and I will show you that it can also scan the third operating system also okay so let me do it for you so that you will be very confirmed about this and you can do it at your home so just wait for a minute let me open the new operating system here it is my window operating system in the, uh, on the virtual box let me open it as you can see guys uh, this is my uh, uh, Windows 7 uh, virtual operating system. This is my Kali Linux on which we are working, and uh, this is my host operating system that is Windows 10. Okay, so now since since I have opened this uh, operating system also and it is in our network, therefore uh, it uh, when we scan it must show the IP address of this operating system also. Okay, so let me check the IP address of this operating system once. Okay, now at config. Okay, as you can see, the IP address here is 192.168.1.103. Okay, so uh, let me check. Uh, uh, um, we should verify that our code is working or not actually. So, So let me scan our network again. Okay, let me clear it out for you. Clear. Okay. Now hit enter. It will ask me the range 192.168.1.1-254. Excellent. Perfect. As you can see that uh, 192.168.103 it's a new operating system in our network and it has scanned very well so as you can see you can use this code anywhere you can go into your lab and check or uh, and try this one uh, it's, a, it's a very good kind of uh, exercise for you and later I will tell you what why, why we are doing this why we want to know the IP address and corresponding MAC address of the people uh, basically it will help you in some uh, later more digging and I will teach you further so meet you in next class I hope uh, you get some information from this video till then bye bye take care